Morning, even afternoon, we got a banger for you today, baby. A lot of people seem to think that I got the Drake curse. And what I mean by that is essentially any sports teams or sporting events that I comment on, the opposite happens. Here's me talking about it and addressing the accusations that I am a jinx. If you enjoy this, drop a like, share it with a friend, sub. If you've not yet, most importantly, though, be sure to tell somebody you love them. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, it's time to talk about the elephant in the room. Kevin, you're a fat... I made some football predictions this weekend. I did. And I tweeted out, y'all think I'm a jinx? Crying emoji. Here's what I think is going to happen tomorrow. Tampa versus Rams, Tampa, Buffalo versus Chiefs, Buffalo. And the games were played out. Tampa lost by a field goal and Buffalo lost in overtime. You can technically back this up a little further. And I said that Green Bay was going to demolish the 49ers. And if you watched football this weekend, I was also wrong about that. I've had a couple hot takes here that have been wrong, but um, I don't think I'm a jinx, okay? I'm not gonna accept this. I'm not gonna sit here and, I'm not gonna sit here and lean into this whole, oh, I'm cursed, anyone I cheer for loses. I'm not gonna do it. And I'm gonna prove it this weekend. On Saturday, I'm gonna tweet out my picks and we'll see what happens on Sunday. All right, I already know in my heart and I know in my head who I legitimately think is gonna win this weekend. And I'm gonna tweet that out. If you all wanna try and fade my bet or what I think, Good luck. All right, dude, because this week I'm going two for two. No, no, no. I, I'm not going to not say anything, okay? Because I'm allowed to have an opinion, dude, okay? I can say who I think is going to win or lose a football game, and it doesn't matter what I say, okay? It doesn't matter. And not to mention, dude, not to mention, yo, I, I'm really, I, I'm feeling for Buffalo, okay? I really am. Buffalo, um, Josh Allen in my opinion, is one of the better quarterbacks that we're going to see in our generation, uh, him and Patrick Mahomes for that matter. And um, I felt really bad for Buffalo, dude, because the overtime rules, and regardless of my jinx or whatever you think my picks are, okay, the overtime rules in the NFL are terrible. Okay. okay. Whips. This, this doesn't even apply right now, Whips, because they are terrible, okay? The NFL overtime rules, well, I guess this does kind of apply because it is kind of like a clown fiesta, but like the overtime rules for the NFL, it's legitimately a coin flip. These guys play four quarters and then whoever gets the ball first, if they score a touchdown, game over. And the overtime rules are, are ass. They're literal ass and they have to change. Co I mean, college, college overtime rules are better than the NFL. True, it's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. It's like, so Buffalo, like I really feel for the Bills because like Josh Allen and their offense, their defense, bro, Kansas City had their defense on lock. I mean, Kansas City, literally, they, they had Buffalo's defense like a book. So, but their offense was carrying, bro, like Josh Allen, and they don't even get the chance to rebuttal after a touchdown. It's, it's so stupid. It is so stupid. I will say, I will say something. Okay, about Buffalo. Okay, take this for what it will. Now, to be fair, I was pretty drunk yesterday. Okay, I think I had 14 beers. Right after Buffalo scored, and there were seven seconds. No, I'm sorry, 13 seconds left. And I saw them line up and kick it out of the end zone. I said right then, Kansas City is going to tie this game. What I would have done, 14 beers deep, I'm, I'm squib kicking it into the ground and making them run it. I don't know why, and I don't know about you all. You know what I mean? I'm not a football coach. I'm not, okay? I had 14 beers and I'm a football fan. I am not kicking that ball out of the end zone. You gotta squib kick that. You have to. You, you can't let the clock run 
let them try and run it back and let them try and burn some clock off. Don't just give them at the 20 yard line, 100%, I think that was a missed call, 100%. That was like the one thing throughout that Buffalo game where I literally think they actually messed up. Everything else was really good though. Like they played great and I, um, uh, who, was, who was Josh Allen throwing to? Davis, right, bro, crazy, crazy games. Um, I low key, I, I, I mean this in all sincerity, uh, I think we just watched the Super Bowl last night. I, I don't think any game is going to come anywhere near that. Nothing's going to hold a candle to that. <sighs> it's reality is uh, there's no real team like that game and that matchup of Allen and Patrick Mahomes. That's it's better. It's going to be better than the Super Bowl. That's just bottom line. Um, so I, I, I am kind of sad to think about that because I think that's the best game of football we're going to get for the rest of the year. <laughs> Unfortunately, sports center facts, the game tying field goal drive by the Chiefs, 13 seconds took less time than Dak Prescott's QB run 14 seconds. Am I, I'm not trying to get pissed like this. I'm not, but are we serious? Is this clickbait bullshit serious, dude? I, it's, I, I, I mean, I know I'm a YouTuber and I'll clickbait some shit. I mean, come the fuck on sports center. Are you serious? Dude. Dude, are we just like totally ignoring timeouts? Are we just like, yeah, fuck it. Who cares about time? Dude, I'm not, brother, I'm not. It's literally clickbait. I'm not gonna sit here and fall for that clickbait. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. They got me last night because I was 14 beers deep and I, re I responded to their tweet. I was like, we just not talking about timeouts. And you know what, dude? Reality is, bro, reality is this, okay? All of these media, all of these corporations bro they can't keep the cowboys out of their mouth they can't because they know the cowboys get the most views and that's bottom line they're always gonna try and circle something back to the cowboys always because we're the best team in the nfl we're the best team when it comes to views and that's facts bro these these guys all these articles that you i'm watching sports center they're still talking about the cowboys it's been two and a half how long have we been out two weeks it's been two weeks and they're still talking about it dude Let, uh, i'm telling you man uh, they want the views they want the view it's not even copium dude it, it's dude, that is literally what i mean the cowboys brand america's team they get the most views in the nfl they're the most valued franchise in sports history i'm i'm right right someone tweeted actually i'm not 100 sure i was that someone tweeted me that and i read it when i was hammered one night and i was like fuck yeah you know what i mean but <clears throat> and that's just facts man if you're a Cowboys fan, you already know, okay? People either love the Cowboys or they love to hate us. And people love talking about it. So like a game last night, they're still gonna circle that back to something about Dallas, 100%. And listen, I'm not trying to discredit what Patrick Mahomes did in those 13 seconds. That was a masterpiece to watch. But dude, we're talking timeouts versus not timeouts. And honestly, we're talking about referees that wanted Dallas to lose versus referees that the Chiefs wanted to win. If the referee had a little more urgency to get to that ball, we could have had one more play and we probably would have won. So Tim has to be the most unathletic gamer who knows nothing about sports, period. Dr. Disrespect. Legi Honestly, Doc, I'm nervous for you. And the reason I'm nervous for you is because in my heart of hearts, I legitimately think the 49ers are going to win the Super Bowl. Which, and what I've realized about my jinx is my curse, whatever you want to call it. If I don't really believe it, it doesn't seem to have an impact. I genuinely think with the teams that are left, they're going to win the Super Bowl. And I said it, I actually said it. If you go back in my stream, I said that if the 49ers beat Green Bay at Lambeau, they will win the Super Bowl. I already said that. I'm, I'm not lying. I swear to God, that's what, that's what my intuition is. I swear to God. I, I, my bet and the way teams are playing right now, I think the 49ers are gonna win the Super Bowl. So, good luck. I, I'm not changing my opinion, it's what I believe. It's what I believe, truly, truly. And uh, yeah, dude, at the end of the day, I, I'm, I, I think I'm gonna have to like reach out to Drake or something, cause I, could, wasn't Drake like cursed or something like that, people said. I feel like on a much smaller scale, just to be clear, I'm not at the level that Drake's at, obviously. I don't think I have to tell all of you that, uh, but it's like, uh, like, I think people legitimately think that I, like, I don't know what, ha I don't know what happened to Drake and how he got out of that. Maybe he just stopped talking about it, but.
Yeah, just, I'm just, I'll just hit up Drake really quick. Be like, hey, bro, I think that people think I'm cursed with the sports teams that I support. And I just wanted to talk to someone that's already like been through this. So I'm the Cowboys curse. Uh, that's physically impossible because I was a Cowboys fan in 1993 when they won the Super Bowl. So I was three years old and I was there. I literally know nothing about sports. You're just making a lucky guess that lines up with my belief. Doc, how are you going to say I know nothing about sports, bro, when you didn't even know what division your team was in? Doc, I swear to God, until the 49ers were in the playoffs, I didn't see you tweet one time. I didn't see you in one jersey. I, every single weekend, I'm in my Cowboys jersey at the bar or at the Cowboys game. How are you going to tell me I'm a fake fan when you literally didn't talk about the 49ers or support them until they were in the playoffs? Are you serious? I mean, I'm wearing a Cowboys hat right now, literally. I, it's like, I, dude, I, I, how are you going to tell me that I don't know sports and don't like know, like support my team? Like what the frick? The 49ers don't have a quarterback. If, if the 49ers didn't have Jimmy Garoppolo, they'd be the best team in the NFL. W one of the best teams in the NFL. I, I dead ass mean that. It's like the team is all clicking well. And then Jimmy, like the team is also trying to make it so Jimmy doesn't like throw the game. I'm, I'm being dead serious. I, I truly do believe that. Jimmy's good. Jimmy's the sole reason the Cowboys almost had a chance to beat him. Are you guys stupid? L low key, I, the 49ers, like Debo is one of the best, like just NFL athletes I feel like I've seen in a while. He's so good. He can throw, he can run, he can catch. He's like a running, he's, Debo is like the biggest wild card I've ever seen on a football team. It's like literally he can do, he can do it all. He's crazy, bro. He's crazy. How about the Bengals? I, I, I'm happy the Bengals are doing well. Unfortunately, I don't think they're gonna get by next week. And that, you guys wanna know my takes next week? I'll tell you now, but I'll tweet this out on Saturday. Uh, in my heart of hearts, I believe 49ers are gonna beat the Rams and I believe Chiefs are gonna beat the Bengals. So we'll see how it happens. That's my take next week. So let's see if this curse really is a thing, huh? Shall we, shall we? If the Rams and the Bengals win next week, I have a power, I'm gonna be honest with you. Because in my heart of hearts, that's truly what I believe. I believe the 49ers are gonna beat the Rams. And I believe um, uh, the Chiefs are gonna beat the Bengals. I love the Bengals, I love Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Mixon, the whole team, love them. I, but uh, Chiefs are just a different level, in my opinion. So, see what happens. See what happens. That's my, let's see if the curse works or not, I guess we'll say. So, that's what I believe is gonna happen.